All right, uh, back to our five part series here on the overall sort of bird's eye view of your company. And um, there's a lot of stuff that can help you with this stuff. If, you, if one day you find yourself in a really big company, you can look at some ERP software. Uh, most watch truck companies will never get to that level of even needing that. You can do all this sort of uh, in your head or on a whiteboard. I love a whiteboard, but it's a big digital whiteboard for your company. So we've looked at in the previous videos, if you haven't saw those, uh, marketing, number two, customer acquisition. These are the spokes in our wheel, okay? They're supporting the business, customer acquisition, and all the little details inside that. Uh, number three was operations, all the things that go into actually going out and getting the job done correctly and, and taking care of the customer and you know not killing any bushes and plants and all that kind of stuff. Number four, we're gonna get into equipment, and this is my favorite because we build equipment. So equip we're gonna abbreviate their equipment and uh i told you guys in the previous videos a lot of dudes they're gonna center themselves blue collar guys guys that are coming and that's a lot of our, our customers we do have a ton of uh white collar kind of they're coming from different backgrounds getting into soft washing it's very interesting but the bulk of our guys they're blue collar centered guys and that's where the bread and butter's at and they think about equipment a lot like we're all kind of you know we're, we're tool guys we all like a we got pocket knives in our pocket. We got a bunch of wrenches and we probably don't want our wife to know how much we spend on our toolbox. That's where we find ourselves, And so it's easy for us to think a lot about equipment. Now look, I'm an equipment manufacturer. We're the largest uh, turnkey systems manufacturer on the planet. We got, we build thousands of rigs. Okay. We'll do about 400 rigs every year. Um, equipment is very important. You look, this, uh, the, you can't do can't do none of this this don't matter this don't matter this don't matter if you don't have any anything to go work with okay if we were if we were selling hot dogs right you got to do all the same stuff but if you don't have a way to cook the damn hot dog it doesn't matter so on the flip side of that if this is all you have it also don't matter you just have a really nice hot dog stand and you got no customers so it all is cohesive it has to work together but you do have to have equipment and you want quality equipment. So what we'll go through, this will be a quick slide, a quick video here. The truck, selecting a truck, doesn't matter. You run what you got. If you got an SUV, you can pull a trailer. Uh, truck don't matter. I, if, you, if you're picking one, I prefer uh, a truck and a skid mount. That's just what I prefer because I can drive it around just like normal. I don't have to think about a trailer being behind me. If you're just got plenty of money, go get you a Ford. The reason I like those is the uh, aluminum bodies on the Ford means they're much more corrosion resistant and we are dealing with corrosive chems all the time. So get you a good truck. Uh, you know, if you can't, don't worry about it. Just run what you got. Be fine. Uh, parts, keeping parts on hand. All of our equipment's built to be very field serviceable. So make sure whoever you're getting equipment from has thought about those things. And a lot of people have copied our designs and I don't care. It's, it's flattery. Uh, but field service ab serviceability in the equipment category, the last thing you want to do is buy some convoluted system that um, can't be really maintained because we are dealing with pressures, things that have to stay 100% airtight for them to suck correctly and prime the pumps and spray correctly, uh, corrosive chems, lots of things can go wrong. The good news is it's typically a very, very cheap fix on a rig. Uh, the bad news is sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what the hell is wrong. So in the equipment category, you, you're going to need to get a truck at some point. I recommend the Fords. I'm a Ford guy, so I like the Fords, but there is a reason because of that aluminum body. It's more, much more corrosion resistant. We also recommend a spray-in bed liner if you are going to run a skid. Uh, leaks are inevitable, and if you got a spray-in bed liner, it's just, you know, you don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, parts, keeping that stuff on hand, guys. We recommend you guys to keep some parts on hand. Uh, pumps, it's a given. Whether you're running a 12 volt or if you're running a super pump as of today filming this video those are still on pre-order but going into next year that's our own pumping system and we love them so i still recommend you to keep a spare or something on hand because it's going to go down at some point there's nothing there's no such a thing as a soft wash system that doesn't eventually go down because of the bleach it just kills everything so you want something that's replaceable and you want a replacement part on hand at the very least have replacement heads for those uh, electric pumps if you've got a gas-powered rig, may God have mercy on your soul, because if you go down, you probably toast. You're going home and ordering parts, and you're going to be down several days. So that's going to cost you a lot of money in downtime. Skid versus trailer, that's my circled one here in red, which means it's the most important one in this category. You just have to have something, all right? 
uh, good news is the equipment basically will pay for itself in a month. Um, we've got so many success stories of guys that bought a brand new truck and a skid and paid them off both in the first month. So if you've got the other things in place and a little bit of hustle, uh, the equipment is, is very, very affordable and it's a, a huge money maker. Very, very high margins. And then maintenance, okay? So you gotta have the maintenance. Any of these things that you don't cover will break your, your spoke in your wheel and you will have a failure, okay? What you can't do is not do maintenance or not have parts on hand and then complain to the universe why your business failed. Well, whose fault would that be? See, that would be a your fault problem. And look, we've all done it. We've all had brain farts and not took care of stuff and you know neglected our stuff. It's December right now, going into next year. I already know what's gonna happen. About a thousand phone calls of guys that did not winterize their stuff. And then it comes spring, they try to fire it up and it doesn't work. Or they put it up and they hadn't touched it in a year and the batteries are dead. It's just, it's simple, stupid things. Take ownership and accountability of your equipment. This look, this skid, this trailer, this this is your livelihood. Okay, this is your this is your thing that makes you the money. So choose choose wisely, choose correctly, maintain it, keep you some parts on hand. Um, it, it, and it goes without saying, you know, no matter what you're in, if you're in lawn care, it's your mower. Like you you should know that mower inside and out. You should be able to maintain at least the basic stuff on that lawnmower. If you're doing land clear and you you saved up and bought a bobcat. You better take care of the bobcat. Like you can't just ram stuff with it and expect it to keep working. So take care of your equipment, get good equipment. Guys, if you wanna get some links are uh, in the video description, give us a holler. We'll be glad to hook you up with some equipment. We got all the parts you need as well. Uh, you, you really shouldn't, once you get your skid or your trailer, uh, you really shouldn't be spending more than about two grand a year in parts, which is like nothing. It's, it's peanuts. So this is a, you know, multi six figure opportunity here with a very, very low cost of equipment and low cost of uh, upkeep on the equipment. So other little little things like pump up sprayers, uh, gloves, all that stuff, it's, it's really not a lot of money there. So the equipment category is very simple. Yay for us, we're in a great industry. Simple stuff makes a lot of money. All right, let's get into the next video. Stay tuned for uh, part five in the series, the admin. Probably a lot, a lot of guys, I'm gonna make a prediction. This one will have the least amount of views. Uh, Cause guys, I ain't worried about all that. I'm telling you, this will kill your business. So make sure you watch this video. Uh, the next one, we'll see you in the video.